Hello students. So let's continue with the MCQs. The first MCQ for today is If the refractive index of water with respect to air is 1.33 and that of glass with respect to air is 1.5, then there are four options given. First is water is optically denser than glass. Second is air is optically densest of all the three media. These third is uh, air's optical density split between glass and air. Glass is optically denser than water. This is the last option. You have to select the correct option. Now, when we look at the question, we know that refractive index of water with respect to air is 1.33, which indicates that water is optically denser than air. And when we look at the value of refractive index of glass with respect to air, which is 1.5, we can say that glass is optically denser than air. And when we compare these two values, refractive index of glass with respect to air and water with respect to air, we see that 1.5 is greater than 1.33. That is, refractive index of glass with respect to air is greater than refractive index of water with respect to air. So, we can conclude that glass is optically denser than water and water we know is optically denser compared to air. So, when we look at the options here, water is optically denser than glass now last d option is correct glass is optically denser than water i hope students you know that when we say optically denser than water it means that speed of light is more in water than in glass so the second mcq is nalini draws a ray diagram for an object in front of a concave mirror she draws a ray starting from the top of the object and falling on the mirror perpendicularly. The ray after reflection will pass through focus or pass through pole, pass through the center of curvature, pass through any point on the principal axis. Okay, now the incident ray is incident perpendicularly on the mirror. When it is incident perpendicularly means it is either passing through center of curvature or appears to be coming from center of curvature because perpendicularly means normally and normally we know that normal at any spheric at any point on the spherical surface is its radius only okay so here radius of curvature will be the when we talk about when we take the point and take the center of the curvature of the mirror that Point, uh, line passing through the center of curvature and any point on the mirror will be the normal. So, if the ray is incident perpendicularly, it will pass back with following the same path. It means the ray will be reflected along back the same path. So, here in this case, it should pass through the center of curvature. It is a case of normal incidence. Okay. Now, the next MCQ is, a convex lens has a focal length of 10 cm. The object of height 2 mm is placed at a distance of 5 cm from the pole. Find the height of the image. There are four heights given. You have to select, there are four measurements given. You have to select the correct one. So, let us quickly try to find out the height of image for the given information. Focal length of convex lens is 10 cm, height of object is 2 mm and object distance is minus 5 cm. So, so, as it is a convex lens, so focal length will be plus 10 cm and u is minus 5 cm by convention. Mm -hmm. We have to find h dash and h is given as 2 mm. So, we know that H, we know that H dash upon H is in case of lens it is equal to V upon U. So we have to H is given, U is given, we have to find V. So let us use the lens formula to find V. Now 1 over F is 1 over V minus 1 over U. So 1 over V is 1 over F plus 1 over U. So 1 over F, F is 10 plus 1 over minus 5. Take the LCM, 10 here, so 1 minus 2, so it is minus 1 over 10. So 1 over V is minus 1 over 10, it means V is minus 10 centimeter. 
so now as it is a ratio no need to you know bring all the into the same units so we can just write h dash is v upon u into h v is minus 10 u is minus 5 into h h is 2 millimeters so 5 ones are 5 twos are 2 twos are 4 so height is 4 millimeters remember we have these two are in centimeters this is in millimeter so here it hardly matters it is a ratio so 4 millimeter is a correct option